Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. Bart! It's Knob, my name. Knob Creek Nine Year Single Barrel. Woo! It's nine year and it's a single barrel from the Knob. And it's 120 proof. Ah, uh, you gotta like that because we're gonna test it! <coughs> single barrel, barrel proof style. Cough style. A little Cough. bit of water. Hello. Turn to the right. <laughs> All right, so the proof has got you caught. You need me to get that? <laughs> no, you're, the, the test it had the cough. Oh, oh, the proof. Oh, the test it made you cough? Turn to the right, cough. <laughs> it, it hit just right. It yeah. just, it like, test it! I couldn't stop it. <laughs> like, that's like yawning in the middle of a story. Be like, oh, I'm done. So a while back, Knob Creek was able to bring back the nine-year age statement. They had to abandon it for a while just from supply and demand Got several it. years ago. So they were assaulted by a mass of customers and had to just wave the, the white well, flag on aging to nine years. Well, yeah, I think they were able to catch up a little bit. Just started, had, Several years ago, was able to start aging more. Yeah. But we did the nine-year small batch. Hmm. And I didn't realize there was a nine-year single barrel, 120 proof, you know, as well. And I think the small batch is 100 proof. A lot of choices. Uh, a lot of choices yeah, out there. I think so. Knob Creek brings it. Knob we, we don't the do the research. So no, you so to. you have to do it. Knob, Knob Creek's the first whiskey I ever bought. Mm. I went in. <laughs> this is like, like 2002. And I said, I want a nice expensive bottle of whiskey and I, whatever it was it was like a 12 year old knob creek for 50 bucks back in the day so ooh, uh oh. knob creek is a does have some rye in the mash bill usually that comes out a little bit making it a little bit spicy i expect yeah. the 120 proof to make this a little bit spicy as well ooh. keep in mind there are going to be some differences in these because they're single barrel releases mm. so you can get slight sometimes major i don't major big differences let's say big, big differences i get oak those. on the forefront and some cinnamon sweet cinnamon and a little bit of spice or tobacco i was trying to figure out which one that was i think it's more of like a sweet tobacco note disclaimer i'm still suffering long-term covid palate is mostly back uh nose is not mm. uh hashtag Trust Bart. So when I say sweet tobacco, he can't refute. I get this. Is, this has an alcoholic punch on the nose. It, it burns. does. It does. Um, it's burning the nostrils for sure. And other than that, I'm not really getting any notes that stand out. But that's because of my muted. I get a little bit of the rye, um, but it's the uh, it's a it's edging toward a peppery rye. I don't get any dill notes at all. And it's the, that's the, I mean, I like, sometimes I actually like that dill note in a rye. I know that has to do with, it means there was a little bit of extra bacteria going on yeah. or whatever, but I don't mind that. But I hear it's just a note of pepper. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's a nice note. I just got a real nice note of pepper, like fresh ground pepper. That's interesting there. Wow. Huh. Pepper and like an herb spice at the same time. That is, that's something. I like that nose and a dry dustiness. First sip, astringency took over at first. Almost got worked out by mid palate. Still a little bit astringent. Mm -hmm. Oaky for nine year. Pretty astringent, mm -hmm. pretty oaky. A lot of other notes going on here with it. I'm going to take. I have to take a second oh, sip yeah. to sort those out. Oh, the dance is in the finish here, mid palate to finish. Because you're right, it starts off where it kind of it's almost like it whoop, pulled away all the mm -hmm. all the saliva. That's that dryness, and then it started to come back in. It was like mm -hmm. the tide rolling out, and then then a new wave cresting. Mm -hmm. And you're right, the finish just started to dance. Sometimes the the oak. Or the if it's aged too long will cause really you know the astringency 
but Ooh. it was weird how like it kicked in at first but then yeah the like you said the wave the high high tide came that, back in that was interesting the finish here uh still lingering cream uh buttered sweet corn like corn on the cob oh yeah that's probably it like a sweet buttered corn on the cob just nice in that finish still lingering and some touches of caro syrup. That sweetness is kind of where it goes. That sweet caro syrup. Let me get this flash again. That was interesting. I think the palate's a little, my palate's a little muted this morning. I got cherries and cinnamon mm. and oak. I got a lot about of cinnamon it. on the nose. And then it was kind of like just flashes of those notes and then it's gone. And I can tell I've drank some whiskey, but that's about it. Hmm. We did just have a good weekend though at Iron Root Republic in yeah. Denison, Texas, and we got to test some pretty good whiskey yes, down there. Yes, we did. That could maybe that high. Mm. Maybe that's. Whew. What's the proof again? One twenty. Yeah, it lets you know. One twenty. I think that's that. That's that stunningness. It's the flash on the forefront. Is that proof? Because in the middle, I started to get maybe a little touch of cotton candy sweetness, and then it rolls right back over. To those buttered creams water yeah strong corn flesh sweet corn flavors mm. i added a couple of good um, drops of water to mine you just got one drop really that's good man does that finish linger the 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 longer it lingers the more i get corn on the cob versus the sweet caro syrup it's like a roasted corn on the cob Sweet, sweet mm. butter. Oh my, that's nice. Water helped my palate right now. It actually brought out, kind of opened it up, brought out more. I got some caramels there, some of the brown sugar. I don't know if you know what brown sugar means. <laughs> that's the first time I've said it. <laughs> I'm going to say sweet buttered corn on the cob five more times, and they're going to be like, he said corn on the cob. Ha, ha. I only need to hear three, maybe 3.5. <laughs> that was Bart had a review. He kept saying butterscotch. I don't know how many times. So Hard butterscotch candy. And then you said, you don't know what it means. I yeah. go, Brock. That was a movie. That was from the Princess Bride, though, where they keep saying the phrase. And he's like, I don't think you know what that means. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, I don't think you know what that means. Inconceivable. <laughs> and he's like, I know what butterscotch means. Uh, yeah. Butterscotch. I know Little butterscotch. Brock, hard candy. candy, yellow wrapper. Grandpa always had some in his pocket. <laughs> so 120 proof. Sometimes what happens there with those high ABVs, your flavors really get oh, kind of wow. compacted in there. And to yeah. me, I think when you add the water on those higher Opens ABVs, up. yeah, it the nose, some of those Did you out. get anything? The nose opened up too. The nose got a lot sweeter. I don't get that cinnamon as much as I get a sweet now. I didn't expect that. Oh my. No, not for me. But again, muted. Wow, the nose turned into like a, a, a sweet, ooh, we used to have this taffy store up in Century City in Colorado. They would have that little machine that's twisting that mm -hmm. taffy up there. And when you hit the door, when you open the door, it was so beautiful because it was this like 200 year old building. The floor was all plank floor, like what an old saloon would have been. But then you had this sweetness. So you had this oak dry wood and the sweetness. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm getting here. Mm -hmm. I just went back. I think sixth grade we toured that. Mr. Rival's class. Hello, I'm there. The finish now is actually wow. with water is hanging in there longer now too. <laughs> I didn't and I'm not getting that necessarily that astringency right up front anymore either with water. So this is one I think water definitely helps or an ice cube. Wow. By the way, which one's your favorite Sesame Street character? Right off the top of your head. Who'd you like? Yeah. Come on. Ernie. I liked Ernie as a kid. Love yeah, probably Ernie. I don't remember for sure. What? Cookie, I mean, Cookie Monster. You always look for the Cookie Monster and the Grouch. He's just going crazy with the cookies. Bert, I didn't like the Grouch. Bert and Ernie were like the main two, though, uh, right? Were they the majority of Sesame Street? Was I Bert wouldn't say majority, but a lot of... I liked Ernie. Yeah. Ernie was wild and carefree. Hmm. You're more of a Bert. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, you know, Mr. Pink... 
I did just, I was just reading. Um, so that is, um, Mr. Pink was, um, Steve Buscemi. That's a movie. hard name to say. And I always want to say it cause he's iconic. And, he yeah. was a fireman. Love Steve Buscemi. Well, yeah. not like in that way, but. Well, I didn't think, not, I didn't anyway. think that way. Yeah. <laughs> but I meant like a fist <laughs> bump, a hard actor. shake, handshake. I said hard shake. Pink, the singer, oh. actually got, she named herself, her, nick, her nickname from Mr. Pink. Really? It's verified. Yeah. It's verified. Yeah. Wow. I was just reading an article about that. Wow. How do you say his last name again? Buscemi. He was, a, he was a New York fireman. Was he? Yeah. Mm. Uh, Buscemi. I like how you... See, I can never pronounce right. I met you and I was like, Brunow! <laughs> I pronounced your first name, Scoot. Scoot. Hey, Scoot. And you're like, it's Scott. I'm like, hey, that happens. Double <laughs> the um, O. I had two pretty good drops of water in there. Came in with a third. That was too much. That's brought it down. It's into the 40s. <laughs> you got judgmental. <laughs> um, too much. Uh, just a, a good dollop of water on it was pretty good. Sure. Helped open it up. Kind of like going to the scoop. That was yeah. too much. <laughs> no. I don't know. It's only our second thing, too. It's not like we're inebriated. Are you ready or do you want to... Pimp some stuff. Well, we got to score it. We got to talk about if it's worth it. I felt We're embarrassed, I guess, at that point in time. <laughs> I pictured my old dog scooting. So, all right. So, we're going to score it. I like it. I like how it's opened up. It's transitioned. I do lean toward any kind of uh, higher proofs. So, I mean, that factors in. I'm, I'm going to score before you. I'm giving it a 90. Ooh. See, I yeah. wouldn't go that high. Damn, it's a, cut th me, though. This is a good bourbon. I like um, it. I like it a lot. I think it's one that's that's leading the pack. It's definitely worth a try. Price wise, I don't. And I was looking at my computer and my phone are over there to look up this. I mean, it's not anything out of the ordinary. It's probably a forty dollar maybe. Huh. Huh. Go out and grab this at one twenty proof. The way the water opened it up more. Again, though, I'm going to let you guys, gals, know. I love when whiskey starts moving all over the place, transitioning. It's just that experiential side. And when you added the water, it, yeah. it completely like changed it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, not completely, but it, it morphed it for sure. Now, and we always advocate, mm -hmm. try it with oh, a drop of water. Play with your whiskey. You know, a lot of people like the higher proof, the cask strength. They don't want to add. They're like, I like it at 66. I'm not adding any water to it. Hey, at least just we advocate sure. try it. Yeah, the third water. time you're trying it, say, let me add a little water. Let me add a cube. Sometimes I don't like it that way. Yeah. Okay, you go right back. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes you're like, Whoo, yeah. Whoo. So that's what you get sometimes. You're like, Whoo. okay, the water definitely helped this. Right. Sometimes it doesn't. So yeah, so. sometimes it, it'll make it worse. Sometimes it does nothing. You know what else helps? Sometimes it's just leaving it, just letting it sit, you know, and kind of not, yeah. not slugging it, not chugging it, not kicking it back. What's the SMWS deal on the side of the bottle? Oh, I don't know. Not for chugging, cousin, slugging, or... I was thinking Cousin something. Shane. <laughs> He's <laughs> going to be team. coming back on soon. We're trying to work Cousin God, Shane back. you did that in. with a 66 oh, percenter. Goodness. He's special. So did you <laughs> but, score it, or did I miss it? Um, I would... Um, I think I would be around 88, 89 on this. What? Right I'm above good. you. Yeah. Wow. There you go. See, uh, this one, I liked how it shifted around, and... and Anytime you got buttered sweet corn, mm, roasted. Hello. Again, keep in mind this is a single barrel. Maybe this is just a really good um, barrel, or is this one of those that's kind of questionable? The the single barrel. Did they actually uh, blend a no few barrels together? That'd be wrong. Well, what they could do and get away with it is combine barrels and into a, and then let them sit for a while. Okay. Maybe put them in another barrel. And you got a single barrel. Mm. So technically, so, it's a single barrel. But yeah, I did learn that at Iron Reef. We did this we weekend did. that they can yeah. that they can do that. Right, you can marry a few whiskeys together and recast them. Yeah, now it's a single barrel. Single barrel. Um, <laughs> go to ScotchTestDummies.com. Check out our merchandise, our coins, our glasses. We don't have these glasses. We should get these though. Yeah, we should. Uh, we a got cool ones, dropper right? sets with those uh, Bart sets. Burn stuff. On burn it. stuff on it. Burn our logos. Logo. Our logo with the Android head. You can buy our shirts. It's wood. Happen. Wood with burn stuff. Yeah, you can't get this yet. Boom. Go to patreon.com, look up the Scotch Test Dummies. You can support us for as little as a dollar a month if you want to, or a hundred dollars a month. Well, yell your name with gusto. If you go two dollars and up, you throw us a picture as long as you cover the pickle. We'll it does help show you. Keep the lights on, helps pay, pay for the whiskey, just like this bottle. New shirts. Hello. Although this one's an old one. And 
Scotch it. You Scotch God. Slaunter. Dummies. I may have shaded you right at the end there. Dang it, I was doing mm. better. No, I don't think I did. Look at that. Mm. I gotta go crazy to shade you. <laughs>